Sahara Green Book. <laughs> Hello travelers and welcome to the Hard Green Book, the channel that takes you from coast to coast and con to con. I am your travel guide, Brendan, and here we have made it to the West Coast. We have finally made it to California. We are here specifically in Ontario, California for Creepy Con. Creepy with an I-E for Inland Empire, so I've come to realize. But travelers, we are gonna have a fantastic time here at this event. I will be here on Friday and Sunday. Uh, Saturday's already sold out, but I was already planning on something else for Saturday. We have some other things to do here while we are here in Southern California. So travelers, we have the cast of Scream here. We have a lot of great people that have been making waves in the scene. So travelers, come with me, let's go in, see all the fun stuff, and let's have a fantastic time. Okay travelers, we are here at the Ontario Convention Center where the festivities will be held. We have people coming in for the Friday night crowd. Usually Fridays aren't as crowded, but goodness guys, the parking lots were pretty much full. I was able to get into parking lot D. So, if that tells you anything, that should tell you that this is going to be an awesome convention. Okay guys, we are waiting for our wristbands and as you can see in the background, Sweet Tooth is back there waiting to get checked in as well. We are officially in the convention center now and we are going to have a blast. Guys, this is an absolute massive event. You have cool people here in cosplay, people are having a uh, great time looking for great deals, guys. Uh, we are going to go and find some fun, fun stuff to get into. Okay, guys, we are here at the Monster Tees booth. Uh, I really, really enjoy this company because they supply some of my favorite shirts. Oh, man, one of my Candyman shirts was done by this company, and it is one of my favorites. They have some very cool stuff here. You know, you have some air fresheners. We have some stickers as well. And they also have earrings. Very cool things and some prints here. Guys, very nice stuff. So, you know, to go ahead and check out Monster Tees. Great company. Guys, look at that pretty awesome Ecto-1 there. That's a pretty nice model there. Oh, for $3,200. I'd say well worth it if you have the money. Just came across another cool booth by a company by the name of Mood Poison. All types of cool things. I saw these miniature Ouija boards <laughs> for $20. Not bad. Looks a lot of fun. We have some knee-high horror pins. Uh, we also have some slip masks that are pretty cool, guys. Very nice. Some of our favorite pop culture people here. We have Franken Hooker, Rod Serling. Oh my gosh, Divine. <laughs> Uh, John Waters. Oh guys, great time. Great slip mats. So you have to check out some of the things that they have. Look at these box here as well. Oh, fun guys. Check out this booth here for Brunson Shop of Horror guys. I love the theme for it. I also have some black light stuff here guys. Uh, and some black light reactive tees here. Awesome stuff. Stickers, pins, uh, and of course, the ever popular the mystery boxes for $25, guys. When you have a $40 value inside, you know that's always a good deal, guys. Yeah, check out that stab one. That's actually pretty cool, guys. That shirt is very nice. Alright, travelers, if you have a thing for sunglasses, they have you covered here. And they have some pretty awesome designs. Very creative ones. Vamp shapes for all of your UV needs. I love that. <laughs> yeah, that's very nice stuff that they have at this particular booth. Uh, very awesome. And we have another one here for the collectivecoven.com with all oh, types of awesome jewelry. Ah, oh, and then the hats with the designs. They are super duper awesome. So if you want to check them out, you would check them at thecollectivecoven.com. Ah, oh, awesome. And oh, we have some QR codes where you can check them out. 
here is the QR code for emorbid.com. Check them out. See some amazing shades and look at these brooches and pins and wood coffins. Very nice merchandise. Oh, very cool jewels. Love it. All right, so I guess my friend here kind of lost the top half of her, but hey, this is pretty awesome to see. We gotta love great photo ops like this, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, look at this amazing booth here as well. It's called Demonic Pinfestation. I love that name, that's super cool. So the gist of this particular company is they have all types of cool pin boards with some of our favorite characters. I saw some hereditary there, some what we do in the shadows, some of our favorites. And they're really cool guys, like check out the details on that. We have the Love Witch, the Shining. Guys, look at this back patch here. Oh, very, very elaborate. And you can tell this is a work of love for sure. Guys, this is very awesome. Check it out. And we have designs here that they would have on the t-shirts for you to purchase. Ah, oh, monster there, one of our favorites. And ah, oh, guys, look at this X Win with Pearl and Maxine. Oh, guys, if you enjoy the products that I've shown you, you can check out Demonic Pinfestation here on Instagram. There's the QR code, you know what to do there. And we have a card here for you demonicpinfestation.com guys check it out their black white their uv light reactive guys check it out look at the eyes that is awesome guys that's how hey, it gets you you know very you detailed there vampire. yes exactly <laughs> oh i feel so tired already oh drained oh, <laughs> <know. I'm> awesome. <laughs> we are totally live on video That's right, you gotta go berserk. We got some Jason here. That's right. <laughs> you gotta watch out for that darn Griffin. <laughs> Guys, check out the Horror Lashes booth. This is pretty cool, the setup that they have with the CTV and the VHS setup. Awesome. They have this makeup bag here for $10. And of course, they will have all types of other makeup cool palettes here for $25, $32, and of course they have lashes, all types of cool cosmetics. So travelers, if you want to have some more information, check them out at Horror Lashes on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Okay travelers, and here we have some more examples of what they have. Look at those awesome palettes there. So if you're into vibrant colors, and if you're looking at some very cool lashes here, that star design, that's very cool guys. You gotta love it, travelers. So as you know, we like to show the very cool things on the channel for what we have to offer at these conventions, so check them out again. And we're here at the ever popular Severin booth. So good that even art has to come and check it out. <laughs> guys, look at this display here for Zuzu dolls. Guys, that is an awesome, awesome display there. It's super cool. <laughs> Gotta love it, guys. It's very awesome dolls. So if you want to check them out, go right there. But let's go inside, see how it looks. So as you can see right here, guys, they do rehauls for your dolls. So. If you want to upgrade your dolls to make them look a little bit more realistic, a little bit more like the movies, you can have that done here at Zuzu Dolls. Very nice pricing. Okay guys, and we have an example. We have Glenn slash Glenda here. Very nice guys. Of course, Chucky and Tiffany. Guys, they look so good. Like, check it out. So guys, if you have a doll from Trick or Treat Studios or elsewhere that you would like to have rehauled and stepped up to that next level, check them out. Okay guys, and if you want more information, feel free to contact them right there. Oh guys, the artwork, oh, so, so detailed. 
Okay guys, we are here at the small town weirdo booth guys and I remember that particular jacket being online. So it's cool to see them here in real life. Oh my gosh. And man, I can't tell you how amazing they look in person. So as we were talking earlier, he was telling me a little bit about the pricing and the turnaround and things like that. So could you tell my uh, travelers here, my viewers, uh, what you just told me in regards to how much um, the pricing goes and the turnaround? Yeah, so for generally it? with custom, I do commissions as well. Okay. I say 300 to 5,000. It's a huge gap. Okay. But um, the more detailed, the more like a portrait it is, it'll take like up to a month to make. The overalls took 80 hours, just to give an example, the mm -hmm. Lori Strode overalls. So they rate, nice. these are in the thousands to 5,000. That's a 5,000 piece, but I'm keeping it because it's mine. Oh, I get um, that. <laughs> There's always going to be flexibility in pricing, sure. um, but uh, yeah. They take, they take a bit to make. Hey, this is artwork, so of course Thank it's you. cost. I mean, guys, this is like commissioning Leonardo to do something <laughs> great for you guys. So hey, you're gonna have to pay up for it, guys, for what you want. And of course, this is something that will be completely unique. So this isn't something that you're gonna see tons of people walking around with. So if you wanna show off and say, hey, I know you don't have this, come out and check out the products at here at Small Town Weirdo. And we're gonna go and uh, get some information for the cars as well guys and there you go we have a QR code there guys and if you want to contact Adam to get more information oh I had to get rid of that glare there we go at small town weirdo wow y'all look at the artwork here oh great oh, that I know what you did last summer <laughs> save the pandas that's a very easy name to remember guys and you should because check out the artwork that is featured on the hats the beanies here guys and we also have some artwork here that you could hang up very nice guys like check it out oh very dope guys and it was very cool is you get very unique art at an affordable price and that's why I love showing for my travelers the fact that you can find very unique things here at conventions all over the country that these vendors are selling that you won't be able to find at a lot of other places so the fact that you can you know send them you know an email or go to their Instagram page and say hey I really like that can you please send that to me and they will be able to help you out like gosh check out these stickers as well like this Wednesday one right here super cool this doom one hey very cool guys so you can very easily remember that but if you can't we have the name right there save the pandas and the spelling and everything guys so check them out Guys, check out these very cool and unique wood pieces here. Oh, some of my favorites. Look at this Candyman one. I'm really, really loving that one. And of course, the ring. <laughs> so they're very cute, you know, and ideas in regards to some of our favorite horror movies and such. And of course, you have Beetlejuice and Lydia. And a house that's very infamous that I may be visiting this weekend so it's very awesome guys very cool stuff so if you want to check out some of more of Killer J's work you can check them out there on Instagram there's the QR code you know what to do check it out look at the door here for uniquestaysclub.com check it out this booth and they have a setup here for a horror themed Airbnb cabin in Big Bear, California. Of course, it has a bathroom inspired by The Shining. Oh, gosh, look at the living room. It definitely gets those retro vibes. Loving it. Oh, that's a great feel, guys. It just makes you want to watch some of your favorite scary movies. And I've also always wanted to go to Big Bear. So, guys, that's a good idea. So, Guys, if you want to enter for a chance for a free stay, check them out right there. I'm just giving a little once over of the video here. 
That's a very cool idea of what they have to offer at this particular experience. Guys, I think that would be a fun thing to do. So, hey, if you think that would be a fun future video that we could have on the channel, hey, leave that in the comments. Guys, look at how disgusting this table is. <laughs> it looks great, guys. Oh, look at what you have. You have some Chinese food boxes. You have some popcorn. Some all types of nasty things in there. Guys, this is cool. And this is brought to you by a company by the name of Sin City Props. Guys, this is so awesome. Very nice, guys. Let me see if we can get some more information here. Guys, there you go. Oh, let's move that around. There you go. SinCityProps.com. We have the number and email there, guys. Check them out. I mean, goodness. This looks so cool. And, like, guys, it looks, like, so wet. Like, oh, so much great uh, work was put into each and every one of these. Very cool these little guys here oh, those little devious faces <laughs> you just know they're up to no good oh, I am not babysitting these little ones at all uh, look at this guy here he messed around uh, this is why you're not supposed to get drunk on the farm before you're supposed to do your work you end up like this all right guys here we are at the black craft coat booth and we have some of their products I spend too much money with this company, but hey, when you love a company like them as much as I do, you do not mind supporting them. Love those designs and everything. Guys, you know Blackcraft. I was just there in September in my Salem video. But of course, check them out, guys. They are here. And I love these slippers. Oh my gosh, they're so freaking cute. And actually, they're really, really comfy. So that may be one of my next purchases, along with the, the Bucky's hoodie, the Black Craft Bucky's hoodie. <laughs> and guys, here we are down the tattoo aisle. We have those artists that are here to put some amazing art on the attendees here. We'll check out and hey, the last time I was at a con, I came away with some ink, so who knows, I may do the same thing at this one. Okay guys, and this way we have the creepy arcade. Let's go see what they have up in there. Guys, it's definitely giving that old school vibe here, guys. Definitely like that cool arcade that we frequented in the 80s and 90s, guys. Guys, it is such a vibe in here. So many people are here hanging out. We have one of the ghoulies here. Ah, love it, guys. Ah, can't get enough. Uh, what would Marilyn Monroe be doing if she were alive right now? What would she be doing? Scratching at the liver coffin. <laughs> That's a good one. There you go. Between our thermometer and rectal thermometer. What would be the difference? The taste. <laughs> very true, very true. So, there's this guy named Sean. He doesn't have a whole lot going on in his life, but right now his wife is uh, giving birth to the first child. He's also a little bit of a weenie, so he's waiting down inside the waiting room. So then the doctor comes rushing in, Sean, Sean, your baby's born, your baby's born. Sean jumps up, holy crap, I'm a dad, I'm a dad? Uh, yeah, Sean, but hold on, your baby has an interesting quality. When you hold him up in your arms, and drop him, he drops right back up to your arms again. He's a regular bouncing baby boy. Sean's like, that's a thing? Yeah, come on, I'll show you. So the doctor takes Sean by the hand, they go upstairs, the wife's passed out, doctor runs over the crib, to the crib, Sean stays by the door. Doctor holds up the baby. You ready to see it, Sean? Uh -huh. Sean very simply goes, yes. Doctor grabs the baby, splats on the floor, does not bounce up. Sean's like, what, what, was that supposed to happen? Is everything okay? Doctor's like, it's okay, Sean. Trust me, my doctor. It doesn't work every time. Are you ready to try again, Sean? Sean very simply goes, I don't know if it's a good idea. Doctor drops the baby, it splats on the floor again. Ooh. Sean's like, I, I, I think you made a mistake. Something, something's not right. Sean, mm -hmm. third time to try. Ready? Okay. Holds the baby. No, I don't think. No. Doctor drops the baby, splats on the floor for a third time. What? <laughs> doctor. Doctor takes the baby, throws it out the window. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I, doctor, Sean, chill out. Your baby was born dead. There you have it. That's that's the ultimate punchline there. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, travelers. That is Friday here at Creepy Con 2024. Um, Saturday, I won't be here because I have some other things to take care of on the channel. 
but best believe on Sunday I will be back with more fun horror convention shenanigans for us all here travelers okay travelers we have the Sunday crowd being let in for today it's um, maybe close to 1130 and of course today opens up at 11 thankfully it looks like the line is moving pretty smoothly so we'll see how long it takes for me to get in okay travelers we have reached the end of the line um this is sunday and hey we're here early so it's not going to be too long of a wait hopefully but hey once we get in the fun is going to start let's go okay guys if there's a sheer scope to tell you how popular this con is hey you can tell by the line look at it it's wrapped around and hey these people here are here for a great time Okay, travelers, now through the alley of doom to get today's wristband. Okay, travelers, we are officially here for today. We're gonna go around, have some more fun, see what other cool cosplayers are here. All right, guys, we are here at the Ice Nine Kills booth. Very nice, you see some merch. Uh, also, the graphic novel and the LPs. Very nice, guys, and very good prices. Guys, I came across this booth here for Footprints Customs, artwork by El Marie. Guys, check it out. So, you have some custom footwork here, guys, and the art looks amazing. I'm going to go inside the booth here in a bit to show you some examples in real life, but guys, check it out here. We have where you can find them at footprints.customs, and hey, let's go take a look. Okay guys, starting right here, oh look at that one here, this Pennywise win. As you go down, you see Art here with the little pale girl, guys, awesome Leatherface and the Sauce family. And wouldn't it be something cool and unique, you know, to have this type of footwear at cons or just wherever you'll be and trust me, you, you will definitely get some eyes on these oh guys you know i'm a fred head so hey those freddy vans look amazing and i'm pretty sure that they'll be able to do you know customs for a commission for you guys so let's go ahead and um look at some more of this other art here that you can put on your walls and such you have the nun elvira hey man hey great job on this artwork if i say so myself <laughs> <laughs> okay guys we are at the booth of wild card studios and check out the art in regards to what he has to offer guys some of our favorites ah and look at how cool they are these are watercolors and man it's just it just really pops guys they all look so cool i'm gonna give you a couple more examples here Oh guys, that Slimer there, oh, so nice. And we're not done yet, check out this bad boy here guys, that is so sick. And it was made out of paper mache guys, check it out, you gotta love the background here. Just the uh, attention to detail, and look at this little mini Freddy, oh so sick guys, absolutely amazing. So guys, again, if you want to check out more there you go check them out at wild card studios cosplay and people taking pictures guys is awesome man so many people here in ontario california for creepy kind man absolute blast guys and this is a sunday so you can just imagine how crazy saturday was okay travelers this is the line for one of the haunted houses that they have here locally that will be doing um a cool little mini hunt here in the convention for people so as you can see the line is pretty long so it's very promising let's check it out now uh, if i'm not allowed to film then i'll tell you guys how it was guys it looks so cool in here uh Prepare for the scares, they look so awesome, look at him. <laughs> Guys, that was a fun little preview of what they have to restore at Fear Farm. Scare actors were definitely into it, and if you're in the area in October, go check them out, fearfarmhunt.com. I have 
flyer here. Let's see. Get the focus, 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 focus. There you go. Fairfarmhunt.com, guys. Check them out. Guys, look at Reagan. Oh, so awesome. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> Hey, she looks awesome, guys. She looks absolutely great. Okay, travelers, that would do it for me here at CreepyCon here in Ontario, California. It's been a blast time having so much fun with amazing people that I've met throughout the West Coast. Uh, and some people that were here from Texas, so that's always good to see. Travelers, if you enjoyed what you saw here in this video, make sure to give me one of those Ash Williams severed hands. You know, that represents the thumbs up. It lets me know that you like it. Um, Comment in regards to anything that you saw, you know, good, bad, or indifferent. And lastly, if you want to stick around and join me for future adventures, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Again, travelers, this is your travel guide, Brendan, with the Horror Green Book, letting you know it is scary in those streets. So let me know that you made it home safely.